Hello, I am Kevin Ferguson, Medical Director of Pathology and Clinical Laboratory at Dignity Health Marion Regional Medical Center in Santa Maria, California. Today I will be talking about digital cell morphology instruments. The goal of this video is to provide an example of how digital cell morphology instruments preclassify leukocytes using knowledge-based artificial neural network-based algorithms. In addition, we will examine how these systems evaluate red blood cells and platelets. Our first case illustrates myeloid cells at various stages of development. Again, currently available systems continue to rely heavily on technology's input. This particular system offers first, second, and third choice selections based on an FDA-approved knowledge-based algorithm. The technologist is able to reclassify cells based on his or her morphologic assessment. The next case illustrates red blood cell morphology assessment. These algorithms evaluate the degree of hyperchromasia, polychromasia, microcytosis, macrocytosis, anisocytosis, and poikilocytosis. Again, the systems rely heavily on technologist input, allowing the technologist to adjust the degree of any of the evaluated parameters based on his or her morphologic assessment. Additional knowledge-based artificial neural networks have been developed for the Cellivision platform to detect additional red cell abnormalities, including target cells, schistocytes, helmet cells, sickle cells, and a variety of other red cell abnormalities, including certain parasites. Platelets may be manually evaluated directly on the system from images obtained by the system. This allows for the rapid identification of abnormalities including platelet clumps, large and giant platelets, and allows the technologist to include a platelet assessment and save it on the system. The addition of a digital cell morphology instrument has greatly changed the way we evaluate peripheral smears. Some technical challenges remain, including evaluation for rare cells and certain microorganisms. Again, all systems require careful evaluation and validation. Parallel manual review is recommended for certain case types as laboratories become more proficient with these systems.